Yes, welcome, welcome to the Living Miracles Sunday service, the LM Virtual Sunday service. So, here from the uh, Metaphysical Center in Camas, Utah. So, we're all here, and it just feels so beautiful to be joining in mind with everyone. I just see all these beautiful faces on the screen there from those that seem out there, and yet. This just this beautiful feeling of just being one, being totally connected. I actually just really feel this virtual, this whole virtual community strengthening, actually, with us coming together. And, uh, you know, just yesterday we had an LM virtual movie, and today the Sunday service, it feels like it's becoming something that's significant. <laughs> Something that's really helpful for the, for the mind to be able to come together and just and join and just feel the presence of each other. Yeah, somehow it, was, it felt given for me to, to be involved this morning and I had no idea why or what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> like everything else, we just get with what's felt. So what did come out of this morning's uh, joining with us was this theme, somehow a theme or a topic came up around the present moment, being very, very present, being completely aligned with the spirit here and now. Really just watching where the mind wants to go off into the past or into the future at all with anything, you know, any sort of hypothetical thinking into the future or thinking about this is an old way I used to do things, this is how I am, you know, I don't know if I can ever shake this, all that, you know, and even judging the judgment, you know, okay, we might be aware of the judgment, but then judging that judgment is really something that just keeps us in this loop. And just the invitation is just to come right now in this moment, aligned with the spirit. It doesn't matter if we're starting to go off into some sort of tangent, it's just like, the moment you catch it, not judging and saying, oh, why do I always do that? What's going on here? It's just like in that moment, choosing for heaven in this moment, choosing the spirit. The moment you catch it, like the moment it's in your awareness, not giving it another moment's thought, just to say, okay, I just want the spirit in this moment. So the present moment mind training. something that's just so powerful it's amazing and it's so subtle even it seems to be subtle it's, it's actually very simple and yet it makes all the difference in the world it's the difference between heaven and hell literally in each moment it's funny because in earlier days I just found how I used to somehow think there was a third part to this that there was you're either thinking with the ego or the spirit or myself <laughs> I seem to put a third part in there where Oh, you know, I can just have this sort of thinking here. I can just be in this middle place where I am, you know. And there's just no such thing, you know. And it's just, it's, that's the ego. <laughs> so really being mindful that in, the, in every moment, it's a choice between ego and spirit. And it's, it's everything. It is everything. So if you're other than supremely happy in this moment, it's the time to pause. And the pausing is where the power is, because that's when we just step back for a moment and say, whoa, hang on, hang on. And that's where we can break these age-old seeming patterns that we have. In the moment, they can be broken, you know. If we ever put these patterns on a timeline that I've had it for so long, so it's going to take some time to undo. No, absolutely not. And there's not words. It's not just a theory. Jesus doesn't just talk about, you know, choose again, just like that. It's, it's available to you in this moment. Even if it hasn't worked for you before, <laughs> right now we can choose again. It's so great too, just joining with a couple of people this morning around, you know, if we think anything in form is going to give us any value whatsoever, that's, that's taking us out of the present moment, you know. The only usefulness of form is when spirit gives it to us for our healing of our mind. And it's only useful in this moment. We can have some seeming breakthrough with some form thing in this moment. It might be a seeming person or a, a, a device or something where we just say, whoa, I just had this amazing realisation. And so then you want to hang on to this, and yet it's only helpful right then in that moment. 
And in the next moment, if it's not given, it's just not helpful. <laughs> it's just so cool. <clears throat> so at the moment we're using some tech, it's like, okay, there's something to, to be adjusted. It's like the mind doesn't need to be adjusted. <laughs> there's some seeming helpfulness in fixing up the form. So really just being so present in each moment about what's going on in the mind. The irrelevancy of the form. Form really is a backdrop. Whatever is going on is that backdrop for the healing of the mind. And the opportunity to pause. How often do we not take that opportunity just to step back for a moment? Will we just, we go off on this road, on this tangent, and we just keep following it. And we can even pick it up sometimes and we think, no, I just want to play this out. So even in a conversation with someone, we start telling a story where we're going off into some hypothetical or some past thing, and then we think, and we might even catch it, we think, oh, I've got to finish this now because I've started. It's like, no, it's like in that moment, you just stop, mid-sentence. And it might seem odd or whatever, but it's more odd to be following the ego off into some hypothetical. It's like, whew, come back in in this moment. That's the mind training that Jesus talks about. It's just about coming into this moment. It's actually really simple. And some say it's not easy. It's simple, not easy. It's actually, it is actually easy. <laughs> we make it complicated. And it's great to have the mighty companions around too where we give each other permission to say, whoa, hang on. I've got this song that's just in my mind that I'd like to play. I don't know if you have it there, Jeff, that Steve Walters song, the Just This Moment. That which is born must surely die. This goes on and on like some endlessly spinning wheel. This world that we see is like a cloud in the sky. There's only one thing that I know to be real, it's just this moment. Always changing, always the same, it's just this moment. So wild and yet so tame, it's just this moment. I'm dancing in the flames, let them burn. Let them burn. Just 
just this moment. I'm dancing in the flames, let them burn. <laughs> Let everything burn that's not the I am presence. It's just so beautiful, you know. And the moment is all that we can work with. That's what we believe in. The I am presence is way beyond even the present the present moment. Is it beyond? You know, it's not the place between the past and the future. It is actually beyond that. But it's something we can train our minds to come fully into this awareness where we we need to come into this awareness of the present moment to have our full attentiveness on it, to be able to come through the eye of the needle, <laughs> to be able to come through, to be able to open up to the expansiveness of the abstract. We can't handle the abstract right now. And so our minds need to be trained to be able to give our full attentiveness to the spirit, have our full attentiveness on, our, on the kingdom of heaven, nothing else. So the present moment is what we have. Now. There's just such beauty, you know, in this just being here right now in this moment. Amazing how we can be so distracted by things. The seeming aspects of the world, it's all just a distraction. Everything is such a distraction out there, and yet we just need to put our mind on the moment. It's, I just love the simplicity of it. And I just love pulling back and being, pulling and giving the mind totally to the moment, giving the mind totally to this present moment, to the spirit. It's not about not doing anything in form. It's about what's doing, what's given, because that's what's most helpful to get the mind to align with the spirit. And giving yourself fully to it, no matter what it is. Not judging what it is. Whatever is given in this moment is what we want to put our mind to and just fully give it to it. Without fear of consequence. or how I've done it, or how I think it's supposed to be done. Or having the I know mind coming whatsoever. It's like being present now. This is what's given now. There's such joy and such beauty in, in that dancing in the flame is, is that I am presence that can't be touched. That is everything. right now, so I don't know if anybody else has got something. Mm. Mm. 
from the window. Okay. Hi. 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 I just want to express how grateful I am to be able to join with all of you. Your all is just so precious to me. And I don't even want to say anything after the word and. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I'm great. Is that Calico? This is Calico. Hi. Hi. Yeah, it was just um, yesterday something came up, speaking of being in the moment and, you know, really um, loving working with others and um, having the ability online to work with other people that are seeking like I'm seeking and joining together in um, real time, in the moment, and perhaps having conflict. And this occurred yesterday. <laughs> it's so funny. Um, it, it, it was just one of these little stories in life that occurred. I deleted a post that he did on a page that I have because it wasn't in fitting with the page on both Facebook. And he got very angry at me. And um, I really took that to God immediately. I didn't even wait two seconds. <laughs> I mean, it's like, whoa, okay, I see anger. It's my anger to clear. That's all I know. So I went, took it to God immediately. And, um, and there was about, <laughs> there was about a two minute lag time before God got back to me. And, um, <laughs> and two minute lag time was the most profound two minutes because it was everything that I could have made him wrong for, I thought about. And it was, and it was just kind of like, don't go there, don't go there, don't go there. And if that was what my pause looked like. I mean, you know, this is the mind of a very ADD brain, so that's what my pause happened to look like. And it was just, I was just so aware of how many ways I want to deflect anything that I see as my projection, and it's all my projection. And so I, so it was beautiful, because I immediately went to God, and we messaged each other back and forth, and, you know, I, I just said, you know, I'm really sorry, it was not my intention to upset you, and I said, I'm taking this God, because obviously I see anger, and that's mine to clear. And so I, God came back to me, pretty, like I said, really quickly, within two minutes, and one of the things for me is um, my integrity was out, and God told me so. I've been putting this off for a long time with this Facebook page. Um, I, I just delete people's posts. It's a, oh God, it's a long title. Uh, it's a Course in Miracles workbook lessons in Facebook picture posts. I've always hated the title because it's too damn long. But the reality is that's what I really wanted this page for, was just pictures of the lessons because I'm a very visual thinker and it really assists me in my learning and my gaining understanding to see it visually. So people put these long <laughs> written out things on there and I just go, no, oh! I mean my little kid's just screaming, didn't you read the title? <laughs> and so I went through all of this with God and I just got, oh my Lord, here I am again. <laughs> And I'm just perfect, and it's all fabulous. And, and one of the reasons that I didn't message people back, and this was the point that God gave me, was I was attempting to save time on my behalf, save my time, which is such an ego identity. I can't even believe I'm saying this out loud. It's like, I'm trying to save time for what? For who? <laughs> God doesn't use time. God's in the moment, like you were talking about. God's only in the vertical in this moment. Oh, Lord. So I really got the whole clearing list. <laughs> Saving time is ridiculous. Don't ever go there again. <laughs> and then the clearing was profound. And I emailed uh, this friend of mine this morning on Facebook, and I just 
I've actually written a blog, and I sent them the whole blog. It's going to be posted later in January, but it was basically my gift to myself to say, I took what I perceived as suffering, and this is what I came up with. And I just wanted to share it with you and thank you profoundly from the bottom of my heart for allowing, allowing me to go through this and to have that interaction with someone to complete the whole circle with not just doing this on my own side, which I do a lot with big banks and governments and all of that, but to really have this personal experience of someone else clearing. And he shared with me that he went on this whole journey of how he, he's quick to flash, as he said. And he, he saw it as me censoring him. And, you know, and he's saying he's on a long journey with God on that one, which God bless him, you know. Clearings happen wherever they happen. So I just need to thank you for, you know, just staying in this moment and being able to do this. I'm not living in a community other than in my mind, which is all there is. Um, but it's kind of like having that support from other seekers and truth followers of just holding the light for each other and in those moments you know and the text even says that the saner of the two you know just take command of the the, the conversation and get it back towards the light and um so i had this beautiful opportunity to go through this whole process with another person and he got exactly what he needed i got exactly what i needed it, it was all just beautiful so thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. I'm sorry, it's okay either way. I just wanted to uh, reiterate how I felt um, Calico, the joining is so important for me. Um, I haven't been in community for a little while, and um, Perfidio, some of you know who that is, um, he's in Mexico. We both felt guided in different directions currently, and um, so I'm in southern Utah, and I'm trying to, um, trying to deal with what I've I feel like I'm guided to do, and and it's been difficult without the joining. I haven't had a um, a laptop to make it possible for me to join in in the uh, Sunday services, which I had been wanting to do for the past month or so. And so I'm just so grateful to have this connection because. I didn't have anyone else here for the past month and a half that um, studied the course or could understand anything that I believed as far as that all this is for the healing of my own mind and this is this is just a dream so anyway I'm just so grateful to be here Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you, Francis. So this is the beauty about this. Yeah, come join. <laughs> yeah, you've been very much, very much in my heart, Francis, since you connected and said, and it feels like symbolic. It's just so beautiful that you you finally found a way to join us today. But you've been very much in my heart for the last month or so since you first made connection, mm -hmm. and I just trust that the pathways open up when they're given, and otherwise you can just link in in the mind. We're so with you. You've been such a blessing to this community you know every time you've been here in form but you're never gone from the heart of it so just know we're with you and if opportunities come for lifts this way we'll let you know too so but we'll just sit and trust though that it's perfect somehow <laughs> great he's the eric with i surrender <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 
the cards. I <laughs> have to surrender to that. <laughs> okay. You surrender, it comes back. <laughs> There is no love sweeter than the love you give to me. There is no song sweeter than the song you sing to me. There is no place that I would write. Than here at your feet, laying down everything, all to you, I surrender all of my dreams, all of me, all to you, I surrender. Everything, every part of me If love were like perfume I'd pour mine out on you There is none as deserving of my love like you. So take my hand and draw me into you. I want to be swept away, lost in love. No turning back, I've made up my mind, I'm giving all of my life this time. No turning back, I've made up my mind, I'm giving all of myself this time. Cause your love makes it worth it, your love makes it worth it. Yeah. <laughs>
There it is. <laughs> to be fully present in this moment is just surrendering. Just surrendering everything I think I think and think I know. It's just that full stepping back. Just completely allowing what's being given in this moment. Not resisting anything. Not trying to pull anything towards me. Just full allowance. Really surrendering. Such peace. Simple decision to be right or happy. Do I want to be right about something? Do I think I know something? Yeah. Give me happy. I want happy. It's for next week. <laughs> for us, then, after the movie yesterday, we watched As It Is In Heaven, you know, and, and then we have this joke running here called As It Is In Camas. <laughs> <laughs> Like we've shared before, there's no behind the scenes. What you see is what you get. And um, yeah, just I just want to share for myself, I feel deep gratitude for these joinings and the intimacy of them. I, I'm not looking at you all on the screen. I'm just looking into a little blue lit camera. But I can feel you all. And it's very real for me. So, yeah, this is... This is a very big invitation to, to join in and, and find more ways to join in with us, you know. Mm -hmm. oh, there's Susan's hands up. Hi, I'm just thinking of... Uh... When, when you said uh, find more ways to join, and I'm thinking, yes, I want more, more, more. But then I thought, no, that's the ego that wants more. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm just wondering what to do with that. Well, if anyone has a thought. Well, this is it right now. It's happening this moment. It's not another time. <laughs> as in, it's not more as in other than it's presented. It's acceptance, like Michael's inviting, to this present moment and what's actually given. So it's the full acceptance of what's given in this moment, rather than the ego's something else more, you know. Yeah, I I feel um, like I feel a lot of pain in in this wanting more and it seems like I spent 10 days at the devotional center in Canada and I was going to spend a month there but then just so much stuff came up that prevented me and, and uh, or <laughs> blaming it on other things 
experience, of course, but it was my fear of it. And it just seems like now that we're joining um, online, I'm just, I feel like I'm just eating it up and I won't end. Yeah, that's wanting more, you know, wanting to be there. But then what would I want then if I was there? Yes, yeah, so I'm, sh I'm sharing because my spirit, the spirit wants this to be dismantled, this longing to be with all of you in person. It's like, okay, the online is not enough. You know, I want to be there. And yes, yeah, very intense feeling. I'm just kind of letting that feeling sit in my presence right now. So thank you. Thank you, Susan. Yeah, thank you, Susan. Well, that's that's it. The present moment training is available to you right now. <laughs> yeah. You just see that longing is just a is a future thought that wanting something else, something different than what it is now. It's it's. It's what the how the, the ego is set up, you know, wanting something different than what it is now, than what's given now, just taking us out of what's given. Yeah, so Susan, this is a beautiful opportunity right now just to practice that, you know, just to look at where that wanting is, that longing, that some, wanting something other than what's given right now. You know, you've actually brought this to you. <laughs> this is the power of the mind. It's like you want to join and this is what's given now. To actually want anything different than what's given in this moment is the egoic trick. You know, it's accepting fully what's given right now. This is this is everything, everything. There's nothing else that's happening. Nothing else can happen than what's going on right now. You know, this is not actually even happening, but <laughs> the most closest approximation to what could be happening. You know, that the mind can actually can align with it. Can, it is most helpful for the for the mind. So, actually, really being fully present here and now, and the moment we go off to wanting something better or different or wanting to be physically or something, you know, just that's it, that's what we want to catch right now, just, just come right into alignment with that pure presence, you know, that's available to us right now. Yeah. That's actually a thought, Michael, that's been raised this week from several avenues. And I almost felt um, guided to share in some way, and it could be this, that, that also this idea of being here, we communicate virtually with each other all day. We're all in different rooms communicating virtually. So this is how we see each other all the time. <laughs> and so, you know, it, there could be ideas of campfires and kumbaya 24-7, and it's just not that. We are, because you know, that's, isn't that where you always find us on our computers when you come through? That's where we're sitting. We're sitting in full extension in the, in, in, in the presence that Michael's talking about. It's not really the form, but somehow I feel it might be helpful just to have that awareness. You know, it can... It, it, it actually equalizes where you're joining us. You're joining us in your room, mm -hmm. which is an extension of Camus, which is just another room in Camus, because Camus is a state of mind. We're all in the same house. We're all in the same house. <laughs> this is it. When I used to live in, in Ireland, and I had this thought, like I was feeling a bit separate, they, they did that for me. That's why we felt the movie gatherings. They, they put my head on a chair while we watched a movie and then they turned me around for the discussion. You know, I felt like I had the fifth bedroom in the Peace House in Cincinnati, but I was in Ireland. So it's, it's a decision that you're here with us. And then you'll feel the affinity all the time. Mm -hmm. So it's quite practical, actually, to, that thought. Hmm. 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 Hmm.
that's what's so cool. I just happen to have <laughs> these books seem to be sitting on the couch yeah um, it, it might be fun uh, to let people know especially any of our friends joining us from Europe that we now have shipping from Ireland and, and it used to be quite expensive to get our books shipped all the way you know um, from the USA so I just wanted to let you know that when you go on the website now, there's actually an option. It ships from Ireland, so if you're getting it in the UK, it's good value. If you're getting it in Europe, it's good value. And it's excellent value if you're actually getting it in Ireland. So um, we have a special on for the European sale, actually, and that really feels good because it's two of our classic books, and it's just for one month, The Awakening Through Course in Miracles and, and Healing in Mind. Um, we have a really good special, so check it out. And um, Quantum Forgiveness has now landed in Ireland and is available for European audiences. So people have been asking me about that. So uh, it's available. So yeah, go, go on the website. And if you've been wanting to join an Unwind Your Mind group but needed a book, Unwind Your Mind is now shipping from Ireland as well. So, you know, those are other ways to connect. We have Unwind Your Mind groups in Europe. We have Unwind Your Mind groups in the USA. But well, maybe you don't live a regular life, and maybe you'd be happy to join a USA one, you know, and a European one. Do not limit yourself. <laughs> um, there's a consistency and a commitment, probably, and um, that's helpful with whatever you decide. But you can join and connect in if you go to Living Miracles. There's a button on there. What's it called? Um, events. Go to events, and then it, there's a, the weekly ones show up there, and then you can talk to the host of either and just get a bit more information. And of course, we have a movie. Re we have our weekend retreat coming up, the fourth and the sixth. That Jeff is leading with Andy, and and that they have that. It runs from a Friday evening right through to a Sunday evening, and that's a, a very rich and in, in depth way to do this with mm. us to go deeper that weekend, and it'll be very spontaneous as well as having a set platform. But because it's called Let Go and Let God, <laughs> it will be what it's to be for everyone who, who connects and joins with it. So, yeah, that's also on our events page under LN Teachers. You can check that out there. That's a virtual retreat. Something that's a virtual yeah. retreat, the 4th and the 6th of December. And really, to connect in with David, what you want to do is be logged into Periscope. What you do is you download the app on a phone, if you have an iOS phone, which is an iPhone, or you have um, like a smartphone and then you want to just download the app and you'll be notified anytime he's on. However, if you don't have one of those fancy phones, that's not a problem because what we tend to do is put out on Hootsuite via Facebook and Twitter, David is now live and you can just watch it on your desktop and just click the link and watch it on your desktop. So, yeah, the, no, just another way to feel connected. And we're on LM Virtual on Twitter and Periscope now as well. Some people are actually watching us live on Periscope. So if you go to Periscope and then you want to look for LM underscore, at LM underscore virtual, that's us. Yeah. And, and just to let you know, if for any reason you come late to a Sunday service and you, you didn't get the link because you didn't RSVP, you can always watch us on Periscope. You can just go to LM Virtual on Periscope and we'll be there. It won't be as interactive as here, but you'll be able to tune in. So there's there's lots of ways to join. But mm -hmm. mostly, because I lived remotely for quite a while before I came in and yet felt connected to the community a bit like Suzanne. I'd had a deep connection and then for visa reasons had to be out of the country. Just talk to us in your mind as you walk around during the day you know I mean we're just we're with you that's what I used to do <laughs> so it it's very real so and this seems to be the most helpful way we can be present all over the globe this seems to be optimal right now and that's why it's not about having bigger centers and more people coming it feels more optimal this is the higher form of contact in, in some ways higher intimacy and deeper joinings. So. There you go, Susan. <laughs> Just like that, if you want to connect in more. Mm. <laughs> Plenty of ways to connect in. Mm. Feels really good. Mm. 
Okay. That's great. Thank you. <laughs> Sarah's got it all there. <laughs> fantastic. I have one thing too. Yeah. Okay. So um, if you are wanting more engagement or deeper engagement, you can also volunteer with us if you yeah. haven't already. You just go to um, our main website, mm -hmm. livingmiracles.org, and there's a button there called Circle of Support, and then from there you can volunteer. It's a pink button. And um, there's about a million ways to volunteer with us. There's a few selections on that page which you can check off if you feel inspired, but even if you don't see anything there that's for you, I just invite you to volunteer anyway. Because as Sarah was saying, like we're communicating virtually all day, we're on our projects all day, and um, they're really, really helpful for focusing the mind and, and for looking at things that are in the way, judgments, resistances, blocks. So um, that's an excellent way as well to link in with us um, because we're all just joined in that same purpose. So um, sign up if you haven't, if you feel inspired, and I'll give you a call. <laughs> Jeff had a song he really wanted to play too. Mm. Wanted to use yeah. that for singing yeah, us out. Does that feel good, Jeff, to play your song at this point? Yeah, <clears throat> I'd love to. It's one of my favorite songs. And, and also, I just felt to, 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 to remind everybody because I, 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 I'm just so passionate about it MMT. Um, it's, um, it's, it's really alive. It's a great way to connect, um, especially if you think you're by yourself. And we're actually going through another revamp. We're actually um, uh, cleaning up, you know, the whole bunch of stuff. Up. We're, we're, we're just making it, uh, we're revitalizing it, if you will. So, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, mysticalmindtraining.org if you're interested and, and have a look. It's, uh, it's a beautiful thing. And now I'm going to be quiet and do my technical thing. Yeah, we'll just say we'll sign off after the song. So thank you so much for joining in. And mm. uh, I've seen lots of hearts going up there on Periscope. Yeah. So thank you, Periscopers. Oh, there's more hats. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, 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 oh. We like hats. <laughs> and we're all, we're all on Facebook. Friend us all. Yeah. yeah. Friend us all, you know. Okay, thank you. It's, so, it's such a joy to be here and be with you all. Totally have you in the heart. It's just, yeah, it's just a joy. Thank you. Mm. I'm so grateful. Oh, uh, get all the hearts. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Thank you. Love you. Thank you. Love you. Love you. Love you.